Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to... I think that might be a bit too high. But anyway guys, welcome to another drunken vlog. It's Saturday night, I've been drinking. And do you know what I thought I'd make a vlog? I'm actually playing a game. As you speak. So that's... I don't know, I've always thought this might be a bit unprofessional. But you know, it's a drunken vlog. You're probably not going to be watching me anyway. You're going to be, you know, listening to it in the background or whatever. But um, yeah, I thought I'd make a, a drunken vlog. It's Saturday night, it's... I don't know if you can see the clock, but it's 22 in the morning, and I've been drinking, and I'm currently trying to put off some time by playing a game. What I'm doing at the moment is I am playing Resident Evil 3 Nemesis on the PS1, which I always consider, you know, to be my favourite game of all time. You know, it's it's just got so many like good memories for me and. I just absolutely love it. It's one of those games that I just never get tired of playing. You know, I could just play it over and over again. I just, you know, I love it so much. You know, I really, really do. But anyway guys, yeah, this is a drunken vlog. I'm talking about some random crap. And obviously I've got to mention, first of all, anything I say here might not be 100% accurate. Because, well, you know, I'm drunk. But uh, I'll try to make it as accurate as possible. But uh, I think I'll start off with games that I'm currently playing through. You know, since I don't, I don't actually make the you know the games that I'm I've been playing recently videos. I don't do them anymore. What I do is once I complete a game, I make a review of it, a quick review. So I've not really been doing that. So um, yeah, I thought I'd just make a lot of video guys telling you what I've been playing recently. I've been playing Assassin's Creed Two. You know, I thought Assassin's Creed 1 was okay, but I did feel like there was room for improvements. And Assassin's Creed 2, wow, what an improvement. And Assassin's Creed 2 is actually a really, really good game. You know, it's everything that the first game is, but obviously they've improved it so much. And to be honest, I just love it. I think Assassin's Creed 2 is an absolute fantastic game, and I'm really, really enjoying playing it. You know? Which again is more I can say for Assassin's Creed 1, even though I enjoyed Assassin's Creed 1, I just feel like it got a bit repetitive as the game went on. But uh, Assassin's Creed, like Assassin's Creed 3, uh, Assassin's Creed 2, sorry, it seems, to, you know, it seems to mix it up more. So I feel like when I'm playing Assassin's Creed 2, there's more variety. You know, I just feel like the characters in that in Assassin's Creed 2 are a lot better than Assassin's Creed 1. You know, with women, we got Ezio, you know, Altator, whatever you call him. What do you call him? Yeah. But Ezio and stuff. You know, I just feel like the characters have improved so much. You know, the characters are a lot more enjoyable. You know, they're a lot more likeable. You know, I can see... To me, when I look back on Assassin's Creed 1, I think of Assassin's Creed 1 now more like a, you know, like a little bit of a test. You know, test to see if people like that kind of game and test to see if they could develop it into a series, which of course they have done. Because there's bloody so many Assassin's Creed games, it's unbelievable. You know? And, you know, I want to try and complete them by the end of the year. You know, this is, what, April. I want to say that... I want to complete at least to Black Flag by the end of the year. So what I've got to do is complete Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed 3, Brotherhood, Revelations, Assassin's Creed 3, and Black Flag. Yeah, I don't know about Unity and Rogue, I'm not really sure about them. But by the end of the year, guys, that is kind of my goal. I want to complete, you know, up to Black Flag. You know, when I get Black Flag, I'll get it from the PS4. You know, because by the time I get there, the bombing, you know, Black Flag will be like bombing 6, no, maybe not 6. Eight or nine pound problem PS4 by the time I get there, you know. So I'm not going to complete all the Assassin, you know, Assassin's Creed game all at once. You know, I'll, I'll complete one, I'll leave it a couple of months, then start another one. Like what I did with Assassin's Creed 1, I left it for a couple of months, then started Assassin's Creed 2. And, uh, you know, I'm bloody glad I got into Assassin's Creed series, you know. You know, I'm not going to say it's like in my top 10, top 20, you know. I've got so many good games that I like. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad the stars of gaming, you know, sent me those games because I'm actually really enjoying the Assassin's Creed series for what it is, you know. Like I say, it's not one of my favourite games of all time. But, um, you know, not one of my favourite series of all time. But um, I still think it's a pretty damn good series. And I see why, you know, people really like it. 
you know? It's just a pity for me, I've played, you know, I've, I've got so many games that I like, and like I say, it wouldn't make my top 20, but, you know, it's still a really, really good game, Assassin's so Creed 2. And, uh, I, f I think, from what I've heard online, it's like a mixture, some people prefer Assassin's Creed 2, some people prefer Assassin's Creed 3, and some people prefer Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I don't think many people prefer the original, or, you know, Rogue, or, you know, Revelations, or, you know, Brotherhood. Um, yeah, from what I've heard, it's, the ba basically the main three from what I've heard is Black Flag, oh shit, uh, I'm sorry guys, I'm being bloody distracted. Uh, yeah, the main games, I think, from what I've heard, are 2, 3 and Black Flag. From what I've heard from, you know, online. I know online, you know, it's not, you know, totally accurate. But that's what most people think. So, um, yeah, that's, that's cool, you know, I mean, if I'm enjoying Assassin's Creed 2, I'm hoping to enjoy, you know, enjoy Assassin's Creed 3. And, you know, Black Flag. I think Revelations and, um Brotherhood, I think they're more like DLCs, like expansions to Assassin's Creed 2, uh, from what I've heard. But again, that's cool. You know, I think I'll really enjoy that as well. But uh, it's just a matter of getting around to it, really, you know. <laughs> I've got that many games sitting there ready to be played. It's unbelievable. But anyway, I've went into a bloody Assassin's Creed woman talk, haven't I? Which, um, it's not, to be honest guys, it isn't what I was wanting. Not originally. Uh, I want to talk about games I've been playing. I've been playing Grand Theft Auto 3, which is, um, it's quite a good game. You know, it, it does show its age. You know, I mean, I'm not going to, you know, start, you know, criticise it because it was an early PS2 game. You know, it was the first Grand Theft Auto on the PS3. First Grand Theft Auto on the PS2. So I've got to kind of give it, you know, cut it some slack. But there's just a few things with Grand Theft Auto 3 that's kind of getting on my nerves, like not... Like, on the in-game map, it doesn't, like, show you, like, where the weapon shops are, where the, you know, the woman pain spray shop is. It tells you, like, at the beginning, when you first go into the second island, it starts to tell you where the bloody things are. And then suddenly it just disappears. You know, it doesn't actually have an official in-game map. It has an in-game, you know, radar thing on the bottom right of the screen, but it doesn't actually have an official in-game map. An in-game map must have been invented in Grand Theft Auto Vice City. So, um, it, for me, it's kind of weird playing a Grand Theft Auto game without an in-game map. You know, because in-game maps in Grand Theft Auto games are bloody useful. You can set bloody destinations, you can see where things are. But uh, in Grand Theft Auto 3, sometimes you know, sometimes you've got to actually look at your map that came with the you know, came with the game. You've got to use the you know the paper-based map, uh, which you know I'm not a real fan of. You know, I prefer bloody you know I prefer having an in-game map. You know, in-game maps are awesome. So you know, I, I don't know, I don't know. Like I say, I'll, I'll cut it some swap because uh, it was an early PS2 game, but. Um, I'll complete it, probably. Some of the missions are really bloody hard, you know, I'm not going to... You know, I can't say the game's bloody easy, because the game's bloody difficult. But, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to stick at it and see what I, you know, see how I get on. You know, I'm going to try and complete it, because um, when I first played it, you know, not long after I got the PS2, I was playing through it. I got quite far, using cheats, admittedly. I had to like, infinite like, ammo cheat or whatever the problem hell it was. Uh, I don't think it was infinite, I think it was just a health cheat and like, like the, you know, the weapon cheat, you get like weapons and things and you get health, you have to keep pumping that, in, you know, pumping it in every time you're low in health. So it wasn't an infinite cheat, but you know, it was, it was a cheat nonetheless. So, you know, I want to be able to say, you know what, I completed Grand Theft Auto 3 legitimately, because I completed Grand Theft Auto, uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas legitimately, after all those years. And I completed GTA 4, which, you know, it was alright, but, you know, it wasn't anything startling, in my opinion. It's probably, like I say, you know, it's probably the weakest, you know, Grand Theft Auto game as far as story goes, uh, in my opinion. You know, I've, I've not played Grand Theft Auto 5 yet, but it is a game I'm looking to get in the future. I mean, I know it's been released recently on PS4, 
you know, it's been released on current gen, you know, Xbox One, PS4. So I'm going to get it on the PS4 once it drops in price. Again, it's not really a game I'm that interested in playing, you know, anytime soon. You know, I will play it eventually and get it eventually. But, you know, I've got so many games sitting over there, you know, for the PS3 um, mainly. But uh, I've just not played for it yet. I mean, you're looking at games like Mass Effect 3, Dishonored, you know, Metal Gear, uh, Metal Gear Solid Rising. Like I say, that's Assassin's Creed games. You have got... Uh, I'm just trying to look for more body games, guys. I think the games are up here, actually. Uh, I've not played through Mafia 2 yet. I've not played through The Saboteur. I've not played through... Dungeon, uh, Dungeon Siege 3. Uh, you know, I've got a lot, of ga a lot of good games on the PS3 that I've not played through yet. You know, I've got a few in the, the, the HD games as well. I've not played through the body, you know, Prince of Persia games. I've got the HD collection for that. I've not played through... Oh, what was it? Tomb Raider Anniversary. I've not played through that. The HD version of that. I've not played through the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. I've not played through... Uh, let's see what else there is. Basically, you get my drift there. I've not played through the bloody Batman games. You know, Batman Arkham Asylum. Batman Arkham City. I've not played through those games. Those are supposed to be really good games. Even though I bloody botched the name and called it bloody Arkham City. Arkham City. You know, I've got... There's a lot of bloody games I need to play through. You know, games that are... You know, they're really well known. They're really well liked. And I've not played through them yet. So, um, yeah, I need to really think about playing for them before I, like, you know, think about buying something like, you know, Grand Theft Auto V. To me, those games are more appealing than Grand Theft Auto V. You know, especially Mass Effect 3 and Dishonored. I think those are probably, like, you know, high on my list to complete. You know, they're really bloody good games. Uh, from what I've heard. And, you know, and what I've played them, you know, they're really bloody good. But, um, yeah, guys, this is just a bloody random rant. I've, I've got a weird feeling I've been botching things and repeating things and you know but you know what can you do what can you do i'm gonna actually look at something here i'm gonna look to see if there's anything else i can talk about then i guys think i'll actually call it there for this video you know i think i've been repeating myself quite a lot and uh you know but i'm i don't know if i mentioned it actually but i'm playing by the resident Evil 3 on the ps1 did i mention that i've got a weird phone that i mentioned that um Yeah, I think I did mention that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that. I'm sorry, folks. I bloody repeat myself a lot when I'm bloody drunk. Uh, I really do. But anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little video anyway, guys. I'm still playing for Resident Evil 3. And I'm going to do this until I sober up. I'm probably going to complete the game. You know, I'm, I'm almost there. So <laughs> I might actually just bloody finish it. Uh, but anyway, guys, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Let me know what you think of anything I've talked about. Um, probably not going to remember this in the morning, but, you know, hey-ho, <laughs> hey-ho, that's how it goes, my voice is dying. <laughs> anyway, guys, yep, yeah, getting random, I'm starting bloody blathering about anything. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you all in the next video. See you guys, thanks for watching, I'm a bloody drunken fool. That's why I am, drunken fool.